I wanted to show an Android app in which an image view updated the image based on some action of the user. So the subject of this demo app is going to be dog breeds. So the user is going to choose a dog breed from a spinner, and then we will see uh, a change, an image of the dog change based on the user's choice. The code can be found at the URL seen here. Okay, so for the design. An image view, a text view, a spinner. Fairly simple, it's just the image view, a text view, which will be static, and then the spinner. So the user is gonna choose a type a breed of dog, and then we will show that picture of the dog. So fairly simple. Okay, so that was the main activity in under value strings. We have a string array of dog breed names. And in our drawable, under resource drawable, we have pictures of the dogs. But, and that obeys the appropriate naming scheme Then all the small letters, no capital letters, no spaces. I, I don't have any numbers, but I, I'm allowed to have numbers, but they can't be the first thing. Okay, so those are our resources. Some, uh, an array, a resource array, some drawable files. And now let's move to the main activity. Okay. So we're connecting code to interface. Here's the image view. Here's the spinner. And then we're setting up an array adapter to populate the spinner with the names of dogs. We are working with a, a resource array. So we're using the create from resource method of array adapter. And there under our array dogs. So we have that array of dogs that we saw over there in strings. There was the dogs array. So that uh, these lines sort of combine, populate the spinner with the names of the dogs. And then we're having the handler for when the user chooses a dog. And we're just gonna do this in a very straightforward, simple way, sort of, almost mindless, and then we will come back and sort of do a better version at another time. Okay, so when the uh, spinner dog, SP dog, is uh, changed, then we call, there are two events, one for on item selected, one down here for on nothing selected, and I'm not, I'm doing nothing when nothing is selected, so the user does nothing, I do nothing. Okay, but here's the on item selected, and that brings in for us a uh, view and I. I usually work with, there, there are four things, the adapter view, the view, the integer, uh, which is the position, sort of like the index, if you will, and, and L. So I'm usually working with uh, these two, and right now I think I will only be working with this one. So I can take that view, views the sort of generic, just sort of space on the page, and uh, sort of cast it as a text view. So when I'm showing a dog, when I have this drop down list, each one of these is a view. We're casting it as a text view, and so then it has the text, which we can cast as a string, and we're toasting it out. So you can see, and when I change the dog to Dachshund, in this case, down here, you see the toast that says you chose the name of the dog. All right. And then I'm using a big uh, when. I'm in Kotlin. I'm using when. It's when is like Kotlin's version of switch. And they're using sort of, uh, so we're, we're, our thing that we're using to switch is the name of the dog. And then here are our cases. So the, this, the 
the value and then an arrow and then what you want to do when this is equal to that value. And we're just changing the, the image view. So I established IAB dog above. It has a method set image resource. And then we're going to the r.drawable bulldog in this case, lops, ops, so on down the road. So that's it. And then uh, we've also decided here to update the, the content description, which is sort of a, for a visually impaired person who might uh, have a reader that uh, accesses the, the content description of an image. All right, that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you.